you know, it's uh, it's 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 interesting. Um, usually going into the season, uh, into the conference schedule, you have a, a pretty good lock on what's going on and positioning. But I think I think we still have some things to try to figure out. Uh, first off is who's going to be the DH and maybe another outfield position. That's that's one thing. And we're still trying to iron out some of our back end of our staff and our bullpen. So, um, you know, uh, we have a handle on it. We have some, some, some reference points, but uh, it's not locked down right now. How about Cal City's performance out of the pen today? Uh, yeah. Shut him down. Matt, Matt's uh, become comfortable in that back end role, and I think, uh, I think he does a good, good job. He doesn't get as amped up. Sometimes he gets amped up in a game, come out as, as a start, but he uh, throws the ball well, and he's, he's got plus stuff. So uh, his breaking stuff's gotten better. and. Uh, we wanted to ex extend him out because, you know, traditionally you want to, you know, he's not going to be a traditional closer. He may run games out, close the game for an inning, but third game of the series coming in the sixth or seventh to try to run the game out a little bit because he's a strong enough kid to do something like that. How about um, Panic's leadership this year and his overall, overall play? Yeah, I mean, Panic's cause he's consistent. He's a very good player, heady, understands the game, stays within the strengths. Um, he just he, he leads by example, so he's just a very, very good player. How about um, Waltz's home run? I think that was his best of the season. Yeah, he broke the ice. Broke so the to ice. Speak. I mean, I think he's, if you watch him, he's, he's, he's over swinging a bit. And that, that home run, it was just a nice, easy, loose swing, and the ball just jumped off the bat. You know, these kids, I think, psychologically are affected by the bat, and uh, a lot of them trying to compensate, and they're, trying, they're basically trying to do too much. Uh, and um, that was probably the best swing, obviously, of the year, I thought, that he put on the ball. How about, how, what's your thoughts on new bats after a couple uh, of years? You know, you know, the only thing I don't like about the bat is the weight, uh, the weight distribution of the bat. This doesn't seem to be a good balance within any of the bats I've picked up, Nikes, any of them, uh, Rawlings. Um, the core of the bat, is, it doesn't flatten out. It's a harder core. Uh, I like that portion of it. But uh, if we can find a more balanced bat, I think the kids uh, just don't like the balance and how the bat feels in the hands. A lot of talk this year has been about Hanson out of the, you know, you know one side. Of, uh, what's his name? Hanson. Kyle Hanson. Kyle Hanson. I was trying to think of his first name. What's your thoughts on him this year? I know he struggled a little bit up and been up and down a little uh, bit. You know, I tell you, he's been throwing the ball pretty good. Yesterday he had a bad first inning, but after that he kind of cruised. Um, uh, pitched well enough against Georgia Tech, and then we just pulled him out of the game, and it was a one nothing ball game when he came out of the ball game. Um, but pitched well enough a win against um, Gardner Webb. We didn't play too well behind him, and um, I just made one mistake with one pitch, gave up a two run homer, then walked a run in. So, um, He's been pretty effective, and he's, he's uh, you know, he's, he's the ace. He's, he's the guy. He's your guy.